Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Batiste Dry Shampoo and showing you how I use it. And Dry Shampoo has been around for a few years now and actually the concept of Dry Shampoo dates back to Victorian times. But I've only been really been using it for the last one to two years and it's a lifesaver. So basically the idea of Dry Shampoo is when you don't have time to wash your hair but it's feeling greasy, it's looking a bit dirty but you need to run out of the door in like five minutes, you just put this product on your roots massage it in, brush out and you can go out the door and your hair will look fine, it won't look greasy. This product absorbs excess oil, it also helps um, give your hair some body and volume and it, a lot of the products also are scented so it will make your hair smell nice as well. And it just kind of helps get you through the day until you can get back home and wash your hair. It also helps if you're trying to stay away from heat styling your hair so much. You can kind of use this as an in-between. I wouldn't recommend using this all the time. Obviously it's very important to shampoo and condition your hair on a regular basis. But on days when you just don't have time, or I find sometimes, I tend to wash my hair every other day, and sometimes it'll get to the night when I'm supposed to be washing my hair again, and my hair won't feel that dirty, but then when I wake up in the morning it's starting to feel and look a little bit greasy, I'll use this product and it'll get me just through the next day. So I've actually gone three days without washing my hair, and that actually helps your hair to stay healthier because you're not going to be washing it, so your hair's not going to be getting wet because your hair is more fragile when it's wet and more breakable and it stretches and things like this, so it's going to help your hair that way. And also you're not then going to be blow drying it or straightening it and curling it, um, so it just helps stay away from heat styling. So say for example you wash your hair then blow dry it and straighten it. Your hair might look really good and then but then in a couple of days time it could still look really nice and straight but it needs washing. And then if you wash it you're then going to be getting it wet and having to dry it and straighten it again. Whereas if you use dry shampoo you don't have to worry about that, you don't have to re-straighten your hair at all, you just use this product and it just makes it look clean and fresh to get you through an extra day before you then go and wash it again. This is also great for if you're travelling, um, if you're camping or anything like that and you don't have um, the you don't have the facilities to wash your hair, you can use this just as a go-between um, just to keep your hair looking nice and fresh and clean. So like I said, I've only been using dry shampoo for the past couple of years and the only brand I've ever used is Batiste because I've tried it out and it's just a tried and tested product that I love and I know works for me. And I don't really want to go and spend my money on another brand and it doesn't work so well because then I won't use it and it's kind of a waste of money. So if you have a favourite dry shampoo, let me know in the comments what it is and I'll maybe try it out and see what I think of it. I really do like the Batiste range. They've actually just come out with uh, coloured lines, so you've got um, one for blonde hair, one for brown hair, and one for red hair, I think? I'm not 100% certain. I know there's definitely the blonde and the brown, and I know there's a third one, but I can't think what it is, if it's for red hair or if it's just for coloured hair. But basically, they just add a little bit of colour to your, to your roots, so if you colour your hair or highlight your hair, it's just going to help your roots to blend in a little bit better until you can then go and get your hair coloured again, but I haven't tried that line yet. Um, the first one that I ever tried was the Batiste Tropical, and this one smells amazing. It's like pineapples and coconut, like it's tropical scent, so hence the name. It just smells really like beachy, holiday kind of smell. And I use this one a lot. I think this is the second bottle that I've gone through, and I do like it, and it does work, but I found that this product leaves more of a white mark on your hair. Oh, and by the way, these are spray cans, so I prefer the aerosol cans to the powder that you tap, because I just think if it's a powder, it's gonna be more obvious and you can sort of put too much in one area, whereas this just distributes the product nice and evenly through your hair, just on your hair, and it's just, it's perfect. Yeah, I do love this for the scent, um, and it does obviously work as a dry shampoo, but I've kind of gone off this one a little bit because it does leave a white mark in your hair, which you just have to work a bit harder to get it out. But the one that I picked up most recently is the original one. It's a huge, huge bottle. Um, it's 400 mils, so really big bottle, and I love it. It is the best thing ever. It it has a very, very, very light scent, um, kind of, I don't really know, it's kind of just a fresh, slightly floral scent, but you can't really notice it that much, and 
it's just amazing. They obviously, this original comes in this size as well. You can also get the really miniature, like travel size dry shampoos. Um, these are available in most drugstores, I think, and supermarkets and stuff in the UK. And they're not too expensive either. They're like two, around two pounds, something like that. Um, I think, don't quote me because I can't remember exactly, but I think they're around two pounds. Yeah, with this one I find that it doesn't really leave that white powdery mark in my hair. Um, I mean, these shampoos, once you, if you use them correctly and really massage them in and then brush them out properly, you don't, you're not left with like that ashy look to your hair. There's no powder. It doesn't look like you've got dandruff or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, whereas I feel like with the powdered kind, I feel like you might see, it might look like you've got dandruff in your hair if you don't brush it out thoroughly enough. So just on the whole, I love the Batiste range. I love this one in particular, the original. So if you're trying them out for the first time, I really recommend getting the Batiste original. And then from there you can go on and try out some of the different scents or you can try the colored ones. They also do um, a shimmer one. I think there's silver and gold and it just adds some shimmer to your hair. So if you're going out for a night out or to a party or anything like that, it just adds a little bit of shine and shimmer to your hair but I haven't tried those ones out either so I can't give you my opinion on those but I've heard good things about them but I definitely recommend the original one. Now I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I use this product. First of all you want to start by brushing out your hair just so you don't get any tangles and knots in it later. I'm going to look a little bit silly but what I like to do is take a section from my ear and flip it over to the other side of my head And then you just want to create a part basically right by your ear and then shake the product hold it about 12 or so centimeters away from your head and just spray and then I just bring a little bit more of my hair down creating another parting and again shake the can and spray it on your roots and just basically keep doing this all over your head. As you can see, it's left a bit of a white mark here. Um, a way to avoid that is to hold the can a bit further away or don't spray such concentrated amounts, so just do very short, quick bursts. And my natural parting is here and I would recommend not spraying it where you're going to have your parting just in case there is some residue left over it's not going to be as noticeable if you don't put it exactly on your part so I just like to go a little bit either side so now I'm going over to the other side of my hair and doing the same thing section and spray underneath. Just take a little bit less hair from that same section, sort of around the crown area because I get quite greasy in that area. And then what I also like to do is just take a section maybe about a centimetre wide from the front of my hair. So can you see I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm just taking this whole section about a centimetre wide, pulling it forward and then just spraying behind it. So once that's in, you just want to massage your fingers through your hair, obviously on the scalp. And it's just going to help rub that product in and help it to absorb up all the excess oils. This is also going to give your hair a bit of volume as well. And when you do that, if you can feel there's some sort of extra oily areas, you can just go ahead and add a little bit more product and then massage that in. And as you can already see, you can't see any white 
patches or anything, no, it doesn't look like I've got dandruff or anything like that. And I just like to let it sit for a couple of minutes just to absorb all my excess oil. So I'm going to wait two minutes. So my hair just has a bit more volume to it and it looks and feels clean, it doesn't look greasy and it smells good as well. So I'm now good to go and run out the door and I now won't have to wash my hair until tonight. So that was my review on the Batiste dry shampoo. Let me know if you've tried it or if you have any other dry shampoo recommendations, let me know in the comments and I'll try them out. But just quickly on to the Project 10 Pan update before my battery dies. Um, I'm still chugging away at it, it's taking so long. So far the only two products that I've used up are my um, Savvy by DB Mineral Blend Press Powder and my Maybelline One by One Mascara. I'm getting close to the end, kind of, on a few products. My um, e.l.f. Natural Radiance Blush in Innocence is Hit Pan. My, gosh, Velvet Touch Eyeliner in Black Ink is still going, it's getting there, I think I can maybe sharpen it one more time and then that will leave that done and my Boots Dual Protection Tinted Moisturiser is still going, it's so far down now that I'm having to bend the product, bend the packaging over to squeeze out the product but it's still coming out, it's not, I'm not struggling really to get it out other than having to bend the product, bend the packaging so um it's still going, but that's going to be finished soon. So is the eyeliner, and I'm going to keep working at this blush, but that will only be five products down, so I've still got five more to go after those three are finished up. So it's taking forever to do, but hopefully I'll have it finished before my birthday next year in June. So, um, yeah, wish me luck on that one. Um, if you're doing Project 10 Pan, let me know how you're getting on in the comments or leave me a video response and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!